Hey friends, today I am going to give you a tour of the Great Escape Lakeside. If you've seen my video previously of the Great Escape Parkside, this is the original house. A lot different and a lot much more cooler, interesting stuff. So we're going to give you the grand tour of everything they have here. Let's go do this. In the park side video, I started on the bottom floor and then made my way up to the top, but we're gonna go to the top floor and then make our way down. First, I wanna point out, we have a Guinness World Record, the largest ward search game in the world. That is amazing. These are all letters and you get little dry erase markers and you have to try to find the words that are literally right here. How many people love ward searches? Because this would take forever. And right there is the certificate. And I think that's amazing. What an accomplishment. If you've been hearing in the background, you can hear Zoltar talking, which is awesome because he's in one of the rooms that we're gonna get to. But it's also a part of my favorite, one of my favorite movies, Big with Tom Hanks. And as soon as you walk in the door, Yes, we have the piano. <laughs> and like I said, we're going to go straight upstairs, take a look at the hallway, and watch out for the barrels because Donkey Kong is throwing them at you. This is amazing staircase. It has all of the classic video games from Nintendo. I love it. All these shadow boxes of Mario, and then like I said, Donkey Kong right here. Look at this. Oh wow, so much theming. Rampage. This is amazing. And here's a view from the top of the staircase. Just how detailed it is. That is awesome, isn't it? And now that we're upstairs, we're gonna dive into some of the themed bedrooms. Like I said, if you've seen the Parkside video, some of these rooms will look the same, but they're actually completely different. So that's what makes it really interesting. Like for instance, at Parkside, we have Mrs. Pac-Man, and here at Lakeside, Mr. Pac-Man. This is awesome, what an amazing bedroom because it has a Pac-Man shaped bed. That is so cool. And the ghosts are actually the TV stands. They have Pac-Man running all the time so you can just roll over and literally start paying. I love it in here. This is a really cool themed bedroom. It's also got its own bathroom themed and I like that because it just makes it even more immersive because you don't leave the Pac-Man universe like in the other house this was a heavy favor for me and i really enjoyed it so that's why i started off with that one and and it's actually marked 80s video games right outside the pac-man themed room we have the whole entire tv show foyer which has amazing mural work some of our favorite classic tv shows the wheel of fortune you can actually play and they have jeopardy the price is right. Come on down. This is really nifty. It's got its own Plinko board right here that you can play. And I have to say, rest in peace, Regis. You're an amazing man. Other than the amazing TV show Foyer, the Foyer itself is surrounded by six bedrooms. Like I said, all themed something amazing and I can't wait to show you all of them and we're gonna start off in another one of my favorites which it wasn't at the Great Escape Parkside which is the mind games room everybody loves a good brain twister game and this is full of it I was always fascinated with strategy games like the Rubik's Cube and this one really takes the cake because I love games like this Look at that bed. Holy moly. This is awesome. Look at all the cool puzzles and games on the walls. And a gigantic Rubik's Cube. Ooh, and then the bathroom is a Rubik's Cube themed as well. Wow, it's very colorful. I like that. 
the walls are covered with cool brain twisters that will keep you occupied for hours. This is a really nifty looking room. It's very colorful, very bright, and actually very confusing. But we're gonna move along because we wanna get to all the rooms and showcase the best that we can do. But one thing I wanna point out that was really interesting is this light bright wall. A gigantic light bright wall. Look at that. I loved these things when I was a kid growing up. That is so cool. I want one of them at my house. And there's tons of pieces so you can write basically whatever you would like. Look at all that. That is so cool. <laughs> and right next to the light bright wall, we have laser game room. This is a laser tag bedroom. That's awesome. Though I was never really good at laser mazes, I still find it very interesting. <laughs> this is a bedroom, guys. And you can see they have the laser tag guns hanging up right there. And you have to hit this button and try to make it over to your bed without setting off the alarm. I'm not even going to try, but that's what happens. I'm going to do it again. Oh! And again. Oh! <laughs> How many violations do you think I get? I got to get to the thing. Oh! And we're clear. I think I did a great job. 28 seconds, seven violations. Yeah, I did all right. You can get a good look at the room once you turn on the lights and shut off the laser effects. It's not always dark in here, so you don't have to be afraid of that. But they also have their own bathroom, which is really bright. This is really cool. And it's still themed laser because you can see the laser tags in here. I like that. And that's a Tron poster. That fits well. But before we go, we're going to reset it. Shut the lights off. Turn on the lights. Hit the button. And for the next person to try. Across the hall from the laser tag bedroom, they have the operation bedroom. Now, in Parkside, they had the back of operation. This is the original one. This is the original operation bedroom so nifty i love how everything looks like a hospital in here and look you can actually just play operation huh huh don't nope <laughs> oh boy i can't get them out what can i say i was never good at operation but look at all these bunk beds that they have in here one two three this room has six different beds and they have all the cool doctors from some of your favorite tv shows like er and then also oh scrubs jd i love scrubs my favorite has to be dr mcgreeny though he's my favorite and I also enjoy that they have the little arrows to show which way things are. And of course, it being a board game room, they have to have a Monopoly room, which we'll get to. It's down on the bottom floor. We still have two more bedrooms up here to get to. But please, you guys got to make sure to let me know what your favorite bedrooms are in the comments. Because last time, it was kind of a toss-up over on Parkview that... People really enjoyed the Monopoly themed bedroom. They like the Twister bedroom. So I want to see which one is most popular here. The next room, the drawing games room, which is basically a wordplay bedroom. Ooh, I like how it's so bright. Can you guess what the dictionary drawings around the room are? Ooh, see the closet for the answers. These are all little drawings that people actually sent to the makers of the home. And you can try to guess what they are, kind of like Pictionary. The answers are in the closet, so we're not going to show you. But I think that's really awesome. Ooh, you can play tic-tac-toe, too. On a toe. One of the coolest themes that I like about these homes is the puns that are actually in them. And this actually has one of the coolest puns inside the drawing room. In the bathroom... They actually have a little thing that says, draw a bath. Get it? Drawing room, bathroom, draw the bath. I just think it's funny. I like the floor too. 
it's literally just the littlest things that get me excited. <laughs> The next room is the War Games room. So it's gonna be based off of Risk and Strategio and Call of Duty. Look at this. Wow. Wow. That is awesome. Their own bathroom, Call of Duty bathroom with the battleship bath. I like that. This room is put together so well, almost like it was strategic. It's also cool to mention that in the rooms themselves, they always have a little mural or a little pun joke inside the closets. What do you guys think of this right here? If you know, let me know. So that's gonna do it for the second floor. Now we're gonna head down to the first floor which has a lot more amazing things and an escape room bedroom. Yeah, an escape room in a bedroom. So you gotta escape from your own bedroom. Before we head downstairs, I wanna give you a peek see out on the balcony so this way you know why it's called the Great Escape Lakeside. Look at that view. Oh, it's beautiful and You've got your own goldfish shaped pool that has its own lazy river that goes all the way around and check out that water slide. This place is amazing. Almost like an attraction on its own. You can play human bowling and then they even have human foosball on this other side. Unbelievable. The fact that you can come stay here while you're visiting Florida I don't think I would want to go anywhere else. I think I would be pretty occupied just sleeping in every single bedroom and playing all the games and enjoying all of Florida's nature on the outside. This place is literally, like I said, an attraction on its own. And now that we're back downstairs, I want to show you the little room under the stairs, which is the dungeon. Because it's dungeon and dragons wow isn't this cool look at the little sleeping dragon little tiny hideaway here i like that they do stuff with the rooms underneath the stairs because it's not wasted space it actually gets turned into something amazing like kids love dungeons and dragons and i think that's awesome before we head to any of the other bedrooms, we have to show you the movie theater, which is based off of Jumanji, a Jumanji movie theater. In the other house, it was Jumanji 2.0, which was the sequel, but since this is the original Great Escape, this is the classic Robin Williams Jumanji theater. And this is it. What an amazing, little home theater so much amazing artwork look at robin williams and then jumanji playing on the big screen gotta actually take a step up these recliners look beautiful this is a great job done right here if you can think of any other movie to base a movie theater off in a board game room why not jumanji a movie based off of a board game and that guy was terrifying in the movie. I have to say that. <laughs> and then right outside the movie theater, we have the Las Vegas room, the High Roller Suite, room 777. Look at this. Wow, true Las Vegas bed style. Comes equipped with your own slot machine. Cleopatra, I used to love playing this game. Oh, did I win? No. Huh? Thank you. You can test your hand at a game of blackjack or roulette, and then its own bathroom. Little Singfrid and Roy. Wow, this is a nice bathroom. I really like this in here. <laughs> How about that? Rounders. That's awesome. And a proper name for the bathroom has to be the Royal Flush. 
now we're gonna make our way back over to where we started because they have three bedrooms over here that really stand out because they're iconic board games. And before we get to the bedrooms, might as well show the amazing kitchen they got here with all the cool puns like hot potato, one potato, two potato, three potato, four. Only compare apples to apples. The pursuit of pie is trivial. This is amazing. The family that plays together stays together. All of these rooms actually connect in some way, so it's gonna be cool to go through them and show you the connecting ways. But first, how about some vertical chess? I love hearing the Zoltar machine actually talking in the background, and I've been trying to time it right so that it talks when I actually talk about it because I feel like there's some magical presence actually happening with it. But the more I talk and talk and talk like this to try to prolong, That's what I was trying to do. And we'll start with the Scrabble Room. This is a classic game, and a lot of people like this in the other house. This one's a little bit smaller, but it's still just as amazing. Has puzzles all over the walls, and it actually has its own bathroom. That's a shared bathroom with our next bedroom. And you can kind of get a hint that it's the Waterworks bathroom, and it goes to Monopoly. And like I said, they connect so you can see, sorry Scrabble players, we have a Monopoly on this bathroom. That's awesome, right? This Monopoly bedroom is a lot different than the other one because it's a lot more brighter, has more colors, and I like that. Immediately you can see we have a chance and a community chest beds, plus look at the walls. That is so amazing, isn't it? Of course, we have a jail in case you get the go to jail card and the fan is actually Monopoly money. And as you can see, the Monopoly bedroom leads to the boardwalk. Yep, my man Zoltar in the boardwalk bedroom full of boardwalk games. It was probably a little bit dark when we walked in here, so I'm gonna tuck away to the corner here to give you a bird's eye view of the room. This is the whole room, and this is one of the biggest rooms we've seen so far. Look at it, and look at the mirror. That's an awesome touch, all loaded with some amazing carnival games. Me? How is this possible? It's not even plugged in. It is big. That's amazing detail. The fake plug, that's amazing, isn't it? Come on. <laughs> Inside, they have their own bathroom with a stand-up shower, jacuzzi tub, and take a look at the bathroom because you can actually play potty toss while you're on the potty. Literally just sit here and try to bank the shots. I'm not that good. And if that's not cool enough, while you're taking a bubble bath, you can try to win yourself a goldfish. They also have the spin the wheel game, but you can write whatever prizes you want. Step right up. <laughs> that room's gonna be really hard for me to beat because I love Zoltar, but we still have another stop and I really want to check this one out because you'll like it. I'm gonna tell you now, you're gonna like it. Back through the living room, which has its own gigantic chessboard, and down the hallway by the movie theater, we have the Clue Escape Bedrooms. Just like the park side, these are actual escape rooms in your own bedroom where you actually have to try to escape full of tons of padlocks and riddles. I love it. It's such an amazing theme when it comes to uh, an escape room. The board clue. It's actually two bedrooms that's divided by one clue bathroom. And there's a lot of clues in here to help you escape probably. The clueless bathroom, or is it? 
and the other side of the bedroom. Welcome to the Clue Me In room. This is amazing, isn't it? Such detail put into it. I absolutely love all of these rooms, but this one is the most intriguing because like I said, it's an escape room in a bedroom with a bathroom. And I hope you guys enjoyed the little tour of the Great Escape Lakeside. Like I said, this place is amazing. I will put all of the information on how you can actually rent this place out. And I'll put the link for the video for Parkside in the description so you can check out both of them. It'd be a really cool idea if you rented both properties for a massive party of like a hundred people because you would be able to sleep that many people between these two homes and they're right next to each other, which makes it a like destination wow so hope you guys enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye